Man United 5, Leeds 1, emphatic result. So many question marks over the team selection from a lot of people. So much worries about the lack of preparation, all of this stuff. But we blew him away. What we, what we Unreal. I just want to say to everyone, the Bruno Solano has got to stop now. Yeah. Now. It's got to stop. Don't tell me Penandes, nothing. Hat-trick, first time. Say you had a bad Euros. Mate, you fucking smashed it. You can't have, you can't have any of the slander now. Not anymore. Not <laughs> it's then. as simple as that. I mean, because people do try and do that with Bruno. It's almost like Bruno said, first game of the season, I'll just put it to bed. Tell you what, there's certain, there's certain Arsenal fans I know that like to, you know, <laughs> say fucking Bruno's shite. Yeah. What a load of crap. He's absolutely tore him apart today. And Pogba again. It's those big names that are always in the headlines that have fucking pulled out of the bag today. It's beautiful to see. Uh, Pogba had four assists today. Absolutely unreal. Obviously, like, like Oli was saying, he's a media magnet. He's saying all the conversations he's having with him are positive. But when he plays like that, it just does it not just reassure why we have to keep him? Or how do you, how do you well, feel you on it? You don't want him to go after that, do you? You don't want him to go for assists. I mean, Jesus Christ, who's got that sort of performance? You don't want him going. You know, you talk you, you talk about how long is he, is he going to play out his contract? Yeah. Is he gonna, are we going to cash in for him? Listen. Football's a results-based game. Look at what he gave us today. This is an emphatic win. This is beyond, you know, I had a few friends saying like, oh, I'd take a 2-1, I'd take I a 2-1. I thought it'd be 2-1, I thought it'd be tight. Like yeah. that. You're on it. Bro, 5-1, start the season. Think about last season, how well yeah. we did. This is a, we hit the ground running. Pogba was absolutely central to that thing we did today. And you've got to think, got the, the ones upstairs got to think like, we've got to make sure he's in our team so we can keep on this run. Bro, Chelsea, City, they've all reinforced very well. It's a scary time to be, it's a, it's a good run, it's a good run to go into the season, but bro, there are some teams, there's some serious teams that are going to be trying to take the title, the title race, and we're going to be in the title race with them. Pogba is so important to make sure we keep going in that race. Also, you talk about the spirit of the club. We obviously know Bruno loves winning, but I saw Pogba there going like this, yeah. and that's what we want. We want mm. Pogba keeping up the fans. Mm. Now, my girlfriend's a lead fan. I called her up. <laughs> I called, you ain't going home today. I called her up and said, How's it feel to be a loser? She hung up. Honestly, you that's, see, that's you it. And you look for being like that. <laughs> He's going to be sleeping on the sofa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sleeping on the sofa. Oh, but you love it. Me. You're talking about people talking about the club. You're like, Pogba's disrespect the club. He does this and that. He's there wanting the fans to go for it. Isn't that what it is to play for a football club? Wanting the fans to be behind? And showing it. I mean, look, just on Paul Pogba, left side or central midfield? I mean, we saw him on the left today. For us, obviously, it's not always going to be like that, but where do you think he's going to fit in? You know what? I feel like last season, especially, there was always a, there was always the conversation, where does he fit into the team? Bruno came through emphatic, like you said, and then you got to think about, oh, where does Pogba fit in? He's a big name player, he's a big money player. And we never found out where it worked today. Where it worked today, he was on the left. Especially with the absence of Rashford now for a few months. Absolutely, absolutely. Listen, like we know how we <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We, know, we know how good he can be. We're not, we're not deluded and thinking he was just like a one season. We know how good he can be, but it was always where do we play him? Today, today just showed the quality. Yeah, it's against Leeds, they're a very attacking side. So it's not going to be every game he plays like that. But I really think he found a good position today. And the way he played off Bruno, Greenwood especially, honestly. Oh. Mason, I'll come to you. Mason as a number nine, are you having him? I, well I think I, no. I think with Cavani's influence, I know Cavani here at the minute. With Cavani's influence, absolutely, he's not. He's not there yet. There's no denying he's not there yet. But he, he, he needs some years, and that's why we need Cavani in. We need another centre forward in because you couldn't. Cavani goes this like next year. Mason can't be there on his own. No chance. Absolutely no chance. You need another centre forward in. But absolutely like. Three, four years' time. Yeah, absolutely. He's proven his versatility, isn't he? I mean, he spent a lot of time out on the right hand side. But that, you know, that goal, it's, it's one one. Mm. Um, it's tight. He play, Paul Pogba plays the ball inside, and Mason's got a lot to do mm. there. You know, it's not easy, but it's almost like when he did pick the ball up there. Yeah. I don't know how you felt. You I just were, felt like you were never worried. He's gonna score. Bro, I was never. <laughs> you were never. I know you were never worried. I was never worried. As soon as you see Mason, he's got that space. I, I close my eyes. I'm already celebrating. Back, back to people. I'm already. I know it's done. Honestly, Mason Greenwood. What a talent. It's all about refining that. You know, in, in football, it's, it's it's a hard game. You have got to make sure that people get through, get through, and, and do well. But honestly. He's an unreal talent. The way he can play, like last season, playing on the right, playing more of the kind of assists, more like playing the ball up to the uh, to Martial or Cavani and stuff. He's shown he can do it. This today, just it showing has, it. It's showing it his quality been again. That though, three, four seasons ago, me and me and you went to watch that. There was a free under 21s game or yeah. under 23 games at Old Trafford. Old Trafford, like Greenwood's fucking class. And every season, you're just like, he's getting more mature. He's still got that talent. And I'm just thinking, a couple more seasons, he's gonna be world class. Be patient with him, though. To finish off, I'll ask you first, and I'll come to you. Okay. Man of the match. Man of the match. 
he don't even need to ask me, man. <laughs> Number 18, Bruno Fernandes, man. He just, listen. Premier League top scorer. Premier League, pre Premier League top scorer. To start, you know, he had a bit of doubts over the, like I said, over the Euros. Everyone was worried about, oh, what's his form going to be like? Not too much training. Come in, massive statement against a big rival that we haven't played in 15 years. Bro. Honestly, nothing else. Is it Bruno for you or is it someone else? I, w I wish I could be controversial and disagree. Like, I get the pog before assists, but like, there's nothing like getting the fans going against Leeds, what, 15, 16 years, and they're playing the Prem. It's unreal. Bruno, it's got to be Bruno. Adam was Bruno.